<laughs> the question was, <laughs> how do we increase oxytocin without being sued for overtouching our employees? <laughs> it's not the only way to release oxytocin. <laughs> it might be a favorite way, but it's not the only way. Um, um, as I said before, um, oxytocin builds up slowly, and it stays in the system. Um, you can't get addicted to oxytocin, and when you have oxytocin in your body, it actually reduces our, our susceptibility to any addiction. It's an amazing, amazing, beautiful chemical. Um, and it's just like marriage or friendship. You don't go on one date and think, that's it, marriage. You know, it takes time, and you get to know somebody, and you take a little risk, and they take a little risk, and you give a little, and they give a little, and it's sort of a little dance, and sometimes you do a little too much, and they do, a little, you know, it's this dance, and eventually, you wake up in the morning, it's as if you hit this belief button, you're like, oh my God, I'm in love. I don't even know when it happened or what I did, but, and it's the same at work. Nobody feels safe the first day of work, no matter how nice everybody is. And after two months, you still, you still don't feel it. It takes time, you know? Um, if you've been there for seven years and you still don't feel safe, prob probably time to leave, you know? Um, if it's been three or four months, you know, it, it doesn't happen immediately. And so, and so this is why we consistently do nice things. We judge each other by the consistency of, of our behaviors, not one event. Um, every single good, bad leader has done some good things. Every single good leader has done some bad things. But on balance, we say, I trust this person, but something doesn't feel right there, you know? Um, and like I said, sometimes it's big things, like in hard times, we've, we're not gonna have any redundancies, you know? We found other ways, and trust me, every person would rather have a couple weeks extra holiday unpaid than lose their jobs. And by the way, when the people who get to keep their jobs who aren't made redundant, um, it's not like they relax, by the way. The tension and the cortisol stays high after the redundancies, and you've just destroyed productivity and innovation inside the company because of that stupid short-term decision. Um, I would say there are two things you can do that I can offer you right now, two simple things you can do that will significantly help increase the quality of trust inside the company. One is be honest, right? As human beings, we crave to know the situations we're in because it, 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 it's a protection thing. We're very bad with uncertainty. Even bad news is fine. We can deal with bad news. It's uncertainty that's a, that's a tension creator, right? When somebody says to us, are there going to be redundancies? And we go, um, we, we haven't decided yet. The reality is, yeah, you did. You just haven't decided to tell them yet. They're not idiots. Like, we're highly, highly, highly attuned social animals that evaluate everything in terms of life and death. And so the best thing to say is, we're having a really hard time. We're desperately trying not to have redundancies. Maybe we should come and talk to you guys to figure out some alternatives, because that is one option I'd rather, but I don't want to do that option because I don't want anyone to get hurt. You know? I mean, that's the right answer. The second thing you do, make the other person feel heard. I promise you, while you were listening to your, what, checking your phones, that person heard every word you said. They could repeat back to you the things you said, I, I bet you. But you didn't feel heard. You felt it yourselves. Now, when someone comes into your office and says, can I talk to you? Don't just turn the phone upside down. Put it in a drawer. Close the drawer. Close the laptop. Turn off the monitor. And then say, how can I help? And if you can't do that, say, give me half an hour so I can give you my full attention. When you go out for dinner with your friends or your colleagues or on, work, or on a, a business dinner, no phones on tables. Put them away, because what it says is, I value this relationship. 